Oh my god, exams are the worst. JK, I'm 27. The only exam I take is trying to like wing my liner. What up everyone, it's your girl, Superwoman. And so many of you have tweeted me being like, oh my god, we're currently studying for exams, which is a great indication that you're actually not studying at all. But don't worry, I get it, okay? Exams suck. And they don't even suck well, okay? You know, exams are like those vacuums that don't do one job they were designed to do, so like there's a piece of lint and you're just like vacuuming over it and over it and over it instead of just refusing to pick up the piece of lint. Exams are like that sucky vacuum. Okay, you know what, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, this is off. You know, you know what, yesterday my vacuum broke, and now that piece of lint is there, and I have no idea how to get rid of that single piece of lint. Anyways, exams, they're annoying. Here's why. First of all, while writing an exam, the room is full of distractions, okay? People sneezing, people coughing, people sniffling. Is this an exam or is this a doctor's appointment? Wait, Lily, don't people have doctor's appointments in examination rooms? Who writes these jokes? Knew I should have made a challenge video. For me personally though, the most distracting thing during an exam is those people who twirl their pens, okay? And I'm not talking about the basic twirling. I'm talking about twirling 3.0. See this, this, I'm not talking about this, okay? This is easy, anyone can do this. Also, I just wanted to show you that I could do this and show off. <laughs> look at me, look at me, look at this. Look at this, look what I can do. I'm talking about people that can do the backflip 350 mega behind the thumb twirl with their pen. Like, how are you doing that? I'm over here trying to write my exam, okay, but I can't. You know why? Because I am mesmerized by the aerodynamics of your pen. How is anyone focusing? And do not see, Harry Potter is basically sitting up in this physics class. I'm supposed to sit over here and get an A on this test when you got Cirque du Soleil up on your finger? Mm -mm, I am distracted. And now once I get over the pen Olympics, okay, I look down on my test and I am introduced to a new annoyance and its name is multiple choice. And I know what you're thinking, you're like multiple choice. Yeah, they're basically giving you the answer easy. No, see, multiple choice is like Flappy Bird, okay? It seems easy, but really, it will be the death of you. Four options? Too easy. Let me just do this math real quick. One train traveling at 12 kilometers an hour, another train traveling at 70 kilometers per hour. Okay, let me just do some multiplication. Let me divide, let me add and subtract. Okay, easy, okay, the answer? 16. I'm like, oh my God, I'm like a math whiz. I look down at the possible answers and I see 28. Holland. Purple, kiwi. What the F is this? And then when my answer doesn't match any of the other answers, I do that thing where like I convince myself of it, so I'm like, okay, you know what, yeah. Just, you know what, 16 is like pretty close to kiwi, so I'm, I'm pretty sure it's kiwi. Yeah, you know what, actually, kiwi sounds right. Yeah, it's totally kiwi. You know, you know what, I probably forgot to like carry one or something. <whistles> kiwi. And don't even get me started on these questions. I mean, I don't know, maybe things have changed, but I can't imagine answering questions like that in today's day and age. Like, okay, you got a train traveling 12 kilometers an hour, and then you got another train traveling 70 kilometers an hour. At what point do they both reach X? My answer? Uber it. So as I'm trying to figure out this train schedule all up on this task, okay, what do I see out of the corner of my eye? A little a mere flicker, what do I see? It's mother effing Tim getting up to hand in his exam, and I'm like, what the F? We just started this test. There are vines longer than it took you to write this test, Tim. And then you know what happens? I start panicking. I'm looking around. I'm like, oh my God, what if I'm in some sort of time warp, okay? And it's been like two hours, but I feel like it's been five minutes. Tim, you better sit yourself down, boy, until I'm done. Tim, I swear to God, you better act like this in musical chairs. You better run to the nearest chair and take several seats. In fact, I need you to sit down, get back up, and then sit down again. I don't play no games, Tim, okay? I just finished writing the day. Don't do this to me, Tim. Yo, Tim, what's the name? <laughs> so I continue writing this examination, and then I reach the beloved true and false section. Here's the thing. Nothing makes a person more psychological and deep than true and false on a test. Question one. Photosynthesis is the process of turning sunlight into sugar. Yeah, okay, true. Question two. Sugar is converted into ATP. Yeah, okay, true. Question three. Plants intake carbon dioxide and release oxygen. Yeah, I think that's true. Wait. Three trues in a row? That's a bit strange, isn't it? Maybe one is false. Or maybe that's what she wants me to think. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm onto your games, okay? Let's make them all true, that'll throw them off. No one would expect everything to be true. Mm-hmm, okay, let me double check. Photosynthesis is the process of turning sunlight into sugar. Sugar? Is that right? Wait, what? I've never seen sugar on a plant. You know, I'm pretty sure that plants grow flowers. Isn't it sunlight into flowers? Oh, wait, wait, let me just say it out loud. Photosynthesis is the process of turning sunlight into sugar. Hey, you know what, that sounds true. But wait, wait, does it sound true? Because it's my voice and I'm so trustworthy? Okay, say it to someone else. Photosynthesis is the process of turning sunlight into sugar. Sugar? 
See, nope, that's false. I knew it was flowers. And then I have to remind myself, like, Lily, you suck at science. You're so much better at math. Just shut up and answer this question. You have like a 40% chance of being right. So then I'm writing this test, right? But here's the thing. I spend half of my time writing the test and the other half trying to deal with the extreme betrayal that my teacher has committed because none of this ish was what she said was gonna be on the test. And I'm sitting there thinking like, when the F, Kesko, when did we learn this material? Cause let me just rewind to earlier last week and just flash back to strip. That's so Raven like. When Miss Kelly said, and I quote, girls and boys, you gonna wanna focus on trigonometry for next week's test, okay? There's gonna be a lot of trigonometry. So what did I do, Miss Kelly? I was all up on that trigonometry. I was up all night with my bae, hypotenuse. You already know though, sine, cosine, tangent, that's the motto, baby, YOLO. So then this morning, I walk into this establishment all confident. You give me a test, I'm all ready. Question one of mine, like, let's do this, let's do this right now. Question one, it's 2 p.m., I. where's Tom? Who the F is Tom, Miss Kelly? And more importantly, where is his triangle? Where the trig at? You said there be trig. I don't see no trig. Because straight up, trig is acting like Beyonce in that elevator, okay? Trig is absent. Trig must be on airplane mode. Trig must be Azalea Banks Twitter, okay? Because I don't see trig. Trig must have sang the song Paper Planes, okay? Because trig is MIA. Trig must be at Hogwarts. Because trig is wearing an invisibility cloak. Trig must be Miami in game seven, okay? Because trig is gone. Trig is the reason Justin Bieber asks, where are you now? Hold up, if trig was my father, okay? I would have grown up with a lack of male role model and then I would have had the tendency to get into all these unhealthy relationships with all these waste youths. So Miss Kelly, where the trig at? Where the trig at? Lastly, exams are annoying because they are a reflection of my poor time management skills. I spend two hours on true and false, multiple choice. There's 10 minutes left in the test. I turn to the last page, two essay questions. Hello, now I'm writing this test as Lily featuring heart palpitations. I'm gonna just have to pull H out of my booty right now. Question, explain the history of Rome. I, yo, Rome is a place. It's old. There's also a font named after Rome, okay? That's right, Rome rhymes with cone. Ice cream goes in cones. Rome may or may not contain ice cream during the summer. Also, in addition to all of this, the mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. <laughs> References include 300, Gladiator, and Roman Reigns. Can we be real for a second, okay? It doesn't matter which subjects you took in school, everyone that went to school learned three things and three things only. Number one, the mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. You know exactly what I'm talking about, that little potato with the little barbed wire inside. Number two, I before E except after C. Number three, that whole rule about I before E except after C is a lie. Height, beige, foreign, neighbor, protein. Why are you lying? Would you think you would just make some ish rhyme and suddenly it's legit? I just think you how many times I've been embarrassed by this damn rule and lost all my street cred? Uh, yo, Lily, uh, how do you spell science? Well, my good friend, it's I before E, except after C. Okay, cool, thanks. Oh wait, no, actually it's S-C-I-E-N-C, -E so. Honestly, don't make me play lemonade on your English rules. Yo, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, you know what to do and if you don't know what to do, I'm gonna tell you, give it a big thumbs up, comment below letting me know, are you dealing with exams, are you not dealing with exams, are you an like old geezer like me and you're like, exams, what are exams? I used to walk to school with no shoes and the snow. You can check out my last video right over there, it's called Types of Commercials, my second vlog channel is right there, so make sure you subscribe to that. And yo, subscribe to this channel because I make new videos every Monday and Thursday to all of you who are studying for exams, yo, work hard. Hustle hard, make it count. I believe in you. Best of luck. Uh, also, if you haven't heard, I kind of released my own lipstick. Just I'm just gonna just slide that in there. Just slide it. All the information for that is in the description. Other than that, have a beautiful day. And until next time, one love soup woman. That is a wrap and soup. Where the trigger at?